Why? Why I look like she gave me some burnt too? They kind of smell a little burnt, like I don't know. I don't know Chipotle like now. Want no burnt overcooked chips? Let me show y'all this bowl right quick, like. It. Look at here. Ooh, look at here. It just looks so yummy, so tasty, baby. Oh. Dropping stuff. Baby. Baby. When I do it, get the chicken bowl, by the way. And of course, I got black bean, brown rice, corn, sour cream, lettuce, um, yeah, cheese, all that. Tell y'all, y'all don't know what y'all missing. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm -mm. Y'all see him in my video. You want some? You want some chips, boo? He's a picky eater. So all this, he's definitely not going to eat this, but he is eating. I got him some McDonald's, so he did. Like I said, he just want to be in here. Because you know I'm trying to do something. Why look at his be like that? Every time he's trying to do something, here they come. Like they, they have their own little space, their own little world, but they want to come bother you. I never can understand that. I know I figured that out. Oh my goodness, stop. So refreshing. Told y'all. Two yo just ain't gonna let you be great. This is not. You want some guac? How many of y'all like guacamole? A lot of people really don't like it, but I like it. I eat an avocado all by itself. And that did burn my chips. No, I don't like that. If I want to burn chips. I will see it, make sure that well done. All right, so. Man. <coughs> All right, so. As you can see. The name of the video, of course, I'm talking about what happened after I had my baby. I think it's time. I'm ready to tell my story. But y'all, I don't know if I could just eat and do this video because 
eating just be so sacred to me, like. Mm. Have any of y'all been watching from? Man. That's a good little series. They actually have signed for season three. So you know I'm going to be up in there. Really good. So if you haven't saw from, definitely need to check it out. It's a good movie. It's just a good little series to binge watch. Good joke. So, okay, let's see. How do I how do I start this video? Well, y'all know I gave birth to my son in December. December of 2021. So, the pandemic was like... The pandemic was going on. Um around that time so of course i had my baby and the crazy thing about it was when i had him like i did something that i have never done before and i done had like two two other kids so i growing up like that's never happened to me before like never happened to me at all can you imagine pushing and throwing up at the same time how get up So anyway, have my baby. He's healthy. He's cute. You know, all babies are cute when they're born. Go home. I would say about a week after I left the hospital, came home. I started having these severe abdomen pains. Like it was so severe. It felt like somebody was stabbing me and then twisting it. It was just unbearable. And I have a high pain tolerance level. But it just, it, it had got to the point where it was just aggravating at that point. So at that time, my mind is rushing because I'm like, okay, did did they did they forget something? Did, did they not do something they were supposed to do? Because I shouldn't be in this much pain after having a baby. Of course, I know my body has to settle and get back. Some of the pain I was experiencing, and she even witnessed some of the pain that I was experiencing. She was like, okay, Tiffany, at this point, you just need to go back to the hospital. So that's what I did. Went to the hospital. Of course, you know, in the waiting area, you have to wait. So I'm just in there waiting. With my with my bag, of course, because at this point, it had got to the point where every time I had this episode, like I was just constantly like just throwing up. Like I couldn't keep down no food. I had lost a lot of weight. Like I was sick, man. And I wanted to know why. I wanted to know what was wrong with me. So the doctor see me. She checks me and everything. She's like, I just want to make sure we didn't leave anything behind. And I'm like, leave something behind? Like, what? So they check. She's like, okay, everything's good. Um, It was nothing there. So then she's telling me, okay. Um, She was like, well, Miss Jackson, I can reassure you that you're not going to die. Like, how can you tell me that I'm not going to die when you're not experiencing this pain that I'm experiencing? And then you don't even know why I'm experiencing this pain. Like, make it make sense to me. So she tells me to follow up with my OGBY doctor. I did that. I also had follow-ups with other doctors, my, my primary doctor. Like, when I tell y'all, I had went to the hospital so many times. I had took so many tests. All that. The whole nine yards. Now you, my baby, is still little, so I can't really enjoy my baby because I got to figure out what's going on with me. So they thought it was a gallbladder. I don't eat a lot of spicy food, so like, but you know, hey, they the doctors. I don't know. So, you know, I go get that checked out. Not my gallbladder. Then my primary doctor is like, oh, well, I mean, you know, like he want to talk or whatever. And I'm having an episode and I'm like, sir. He the one that calls it all. I'm like, sir, um, like, I don't want to talk about, like, I want to get to a solution. You want to sit up here and talk, and I'm just there to just, uh, 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 like, it just, it was not, it was not cute. It was not none of that. Hey, little boy, stop. Test, they put me on the machine. They scan all my organs. 
everything looks fine. But yeah, and still, I'm still having these episodes. So I go back and see my OGBY, my doctor, um, that delivered my baby. Great doctor, hands down, great. Um, he tells me, he's like, well, okay, Miss Jackson. Remember I told you you had like a, a, a mass on your ovaries, kind of like a, a, at the time, he didn't know exactly what it was, but he speculated that it could have been a thyroid. So now he's putting his brain together to figure out why I keep having these episodes. So he's like, I wonder, is that why? I'm like, hey, I don't know. You know, so like at this point, hey, because at this time, by this time, believe it or not, I was ready to just go to Birmingham. Just, just send me, send me to Birmingham, like you know, because they can tell me what's going on. Because obviously, y'all just playing this whole money pyramid. Like, send me here, send me here, send me here, running out my pockets. So he's like, I think that's what it is. So then he sits down with me, with me. He tells me in order for us to remove it or whatever, I would have to have a partial hysterectomy. I'm young. You know, I already made it up in my mind. I ain't one of more kids. Negative. So he was like, okay, well, I know that's what you want to do, but you have to go see your primary doctor first because he needs to sign off on it. Now, mind you, this is the same doctor that I'm telling what's going on. And he's just, he just wants to talk. He just wants to talk with his pen and piece of paper. That's it. That's all he wanted so to do. So I go back and I tell him, and he's like, no, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. And I'm like, you don't think that's a good idea? Sir, I'm the one in the pain. Not you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not finna play this, this game with you trying to figure out how we can maintain the pain. Without doing that, I'm not finna. I'm not waiting for that when it could be as as simple as remove. Case closed. So he was like, "No, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna sign off on that. I'm not gonna sign off on that." But at this point, my OGB was like, "You know what? Bump that. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go on and get you some comfort. Yeah, because we 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 ain't got time for all that. So yeah, that's why I say he's the best doctor hands down. So." Of course, that day comes. Um, I have it removed. And after I have it removed, I feel funny. And even to this day, I still kind of feel funny. Because I just feel a little off. But I'm not in pain. I'm, like, I'm not in pain. Like, I can eat and be happy. Uh, definitely gain weight back. I think I done gained back a little too much weight. But we working on it now. But... I'm telling my story just to say, like, <laughs> doctors don't, they don't know everything. Like, I, I appreciate what they do, but they don't know everything. And some of them, it be like, 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 they just want to get money up out of you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just want to, they just want to see you here, see you there. Like I said, you just making bills and nobody can come up with the solution to what it is. Like, nobody can come up to the solution to what it was. But once I got the thyroid removed. I haven't had no more trouble, no more abdomen pain, no more none of that. Oh yeah, and I forgot y'all. How about they also told me that I had a pinch, a pinched intestines, and I'm like, what? Like I know the baby was in a sack, so it's like, why, why is it pinched? It wasn't like that before. So I, I tell my mom all this, and my mom was like. Huh, your granddaddy had one of them, and I'm like, so what? What is it? Is it? Is it I inherited? Like I, like y'all, I can't make this up. Like doctors, like I said, I appreciate what they do, but some of y'all, y'all need to stop your miss for real. So that concludes the what happened to me after I had the baby. It wasn't. It wasn't fun, y'all. I promise you, it was not fun. And I was just drained. Like, I was just drained and I was over it. So, yeah. And I see I got me some new subscribers. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? I see you, boo. I see you. 
I'm just so happy that y'all decided to subscribe to the channel because it's going to only get more interesting and more better. I'm thinking about doing a DIY. I haven't did one of those in a while. That's more the creative side. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to put something on that wall right there. So, yeah. Yeah. Y'all be on the lookout for my DIYs. I know a lot of y'all like those. And this is water, by the way. I have a lot of these. I took some to work. Oh, what is that? Is that is that is that is that coconut water? No, this is not coconut water. This is water. It's just water. Okay, it's just water. it's good water, but it's just water. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you had any like scares after your pregnancy and doctors just gave you the run around because that's what they like to do give you the run around and it could be something really serious and they just want to oh let's figure this out let's well, maybe it could be this and if it's not that then maybe it's this don't nobody have time for all that especially not when they going through pain and for the doctor that told me miss jackson i can assure you you're not gonna die <laughs> i was living y'all like how dare you but anyway that's the past, and we're going to let the past be in the past. We're moving on to bigger and better things, and we are healthy over here. So, till next time, what should it probably be sometime this week? And I know y'all shocked because y'all done seen your girl two times in one week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, until next time, we're going to keep on doing like we've been doing, and that's rocking out. And uh, yeah, um... Y'all stay blessed, be humble, and be yourself. That's, that's, all, that's all I can say is just be humble and be yourself. Stay true to yourself. Uh, know what it is you want and know what it is you don't want. And know what it is you're going to put up with and what you ain't going to put up with. Because, I mean, it's just it's just what it is. We only here for a short time. We're not here for a long time. So you want to make the best out of it as long as you're here. That's my advice to anybody. Yeah, I'm gonna be out. See y'all later. Bye.